I'm going to show you how to create cause and effect diagram in Minitab. To create cause and effect diagram, uh, cause and effect diagram is used to find out the causes of a problem uh, or uh, in terms of quality control, what are the things that affect to improve some qualities in a manufacturing plant or in a service industry or could be a university um, teaching education, which the example that I'm going to use in this case. Now, in a manufacturing plan, uh, things can be divided in six categories like this one. Personnel, machine, material, method, measurements, and environment. I'll, I'm going to keep that base structure and then kind of match that with the university examples. So in this example, I'm trying to see how my students learn better. Um, and then what are the things under each of these categories. So uh, for example, measurement uh, categories, how do I assess my students? Uh, that definitely affects the learning. So I take attendance, quizzes, exams, assignment, projects. They do a couple of case studies. Um, and then under uh, this, uh, assessment or measurement category, I created a subcategory. So uh, for exam, uh, what type of exam do I do? I, I ask multiple choice, true, false, explanatory, write-ups for the projects and for the case studies, uh, teamwork uh, assessment, whatever they do it in a team, they assess, there is another assessment for that. Um, most importantly, I use contextual problems. The uh, most, all data that we use in this class, they come from uh, some sort of real experiment. So I call the real life problems. Uh, that's how I assess my students. Under materials, what kind of class materials I use uh, for teaching, I do class activities, uh, PowerPoint presentation, lecture videos, for example, this one. In class problem solving, we do a lot of these uh, after the students finish uh, watching the video of learning the basics. We kind of spend most of our class time in uh, real life problem solving activities in the class. We practice a lot of Excel, mini tabs. In fact, all the quality control tools we learn in this class, they are practiced in Excel or mini tab. Uh, method under method I can think of how do I teach and how the students study do they study regularly uh, or just a right before the exam cram everything up um, so how do I um, uh, what's the method of learning uh, machine is kind of difficult for this example but I can think of classroom lab software department college university um, these are the stuff that processing students uh, so how they do um, so this could be a little bit um, difficult to categorize under machine, but um, that's what I can think of, which was not included in other categories. Now, environment, external, internal, was the in uh, one campus climate, things like that. Um, also, students, instructor teaching, head of the department, secretary, lab management, all these people affect students' learning. Now, to create a cause and effect diagram in Minitab, we go stat and then quality control tools, cause and effect, um, then we select under cause each of these causes. So measurements, uh, method, materials, and then method. We select machine, environment, and then personal. I have have to label this. Uh, I'm sure there must be an easier way, but Sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. Let's go again. Quality control tools, cause and effect. So I'm going to label all this material and then method, then machine, which I will have to find a better name for that. Environment, and personnel. Uh, I have a subcategory under uh, the measurement section or assessment section, which is uh, this is not in a subcategory. under exam. I have some um, more categories. We can have sub 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 categories of things. That's okay. Now the effect. I want to see the learning uh, quality. So my the best students in the class should have 100% cost.
confidence on 90% materials. So I, 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 that is A in my class. Um, title, this is a cause and effect diagram. Um, it's also called Ishikawa under the, after the uh, name of the person who developed this. Uh, it also called uh, fishbone diagram. What is called a fishbone structure. Hit OK. So that's about the cause and effect diagram uh, using Minitab. You can have something like this full. Um, so this gives you a visual uh, representation of what's going on with your process. And then you can go each of these section in details to um, have more or improvement or what causing uh, if there is any problem in each of these areas then you can fix it uh, to improve the quality of learning that's it about the cause and effect diagram